everybody, Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com. Today's a quick tip for you guys. So if you're ever out there in the woods and say you're practicing at camp and your arrows start sort of flying a little crazy or whatever, it's good to check the timing on the bow. A lot of people will go down and they'll start messing with their rest. Next thing you know, you're all over the place, even worse than you were with just that little bit of kick or maybe your shot was going left. The key thing is you need to check the timing of the bow. Now, how do you do that when you're out there? Um, some people, what you can do, I know a lot of folks, they have their bow set perfectly for the weight and everything, but if you actually bring down the limb bolts on both sides all the way till it's flush and then back off equally, that should put your cams in timing. Now that's a key point a lot of people don't understand is that your cams need to roll back equally so that you get straight and forward string movement. Another way I like to do is when I'm out there, I always carry a toolbox with me because when you're back in the back country, you never know what's going to go wrong. So I take a tape measure. On that tape measure, what you're going to do is you're going to measure from the limb pockets, the bottom of the limb pockets to the middle of the string. And it should be equal on both sides. And on my son's bow, we were out hunting in Texas and he was having a little difficulty with all of his shots shooting left. And it turns out his string had stretched and that's what a lot of people don't realize is your strings actually stretch and it could cause your timing of your cams to go out. So instead of, since he's, he was only 12 at the time, instead of cranking his bow all the way down, all I did was check the timing and back it off on one side to make sure that they both were equal and the arrow flew straight and true. So that's a little tip for you. Always make sure that you have a, uh, a measuring tape. You want to check the distance between, it's called tiller height. You check the distance between the limb pockets and the middle of the string on both sides. Make sure they're both equal. If you don't have a tape measure, just get a stick if you're out there in the woods. Do that before you mess around with the rest or anything else in your alignment. So there's a quick tip for you guys. And once again, I'm Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com.